Welcome to Mishnah Study Masachat Maser Shani Perekhem Mishnah. Hey, over here is a continuation of last Mishnah. If you remember last Mishnah, we spoke about redeeming Maser, uh, redeeming Netarevai fruits, right, on any regular year. So we said a person needs to, re, re, you know, uh, deduct the amount that it costs for working the field and paying for guarding of the field and all these extra things. Now, if you're doing so in the Shemitah year, right, where those fruits are onerous, right, or let's say you're going to a, a field. Right, a regular field that, 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 that that's onerous, that's hefker, right? You no, know, the owner said, I don't want this anymore. Everyone can come and take. But what's going to be the law over here? Over there, you can't reduce, you, you can't, you know, deduct, you know, those extra costs because those costs were never built in. You're not allowed to, uh, you know, pay for collecting uh, fruits. So that's going to be the discussion around Mishnah, but should we eat on the Shemitah year, right? Where again, a person is not allowed to work the field. Right. And again, the fields aren't protected. Right. There's no guards around the field. But they'll be shovel. You redeem it for what it's worth. Right. Again, you can't reduce these, deduct these other goals. Right. Let's say everything was redeemed, not the Shemitah year, regular year. And he came to across a field that was ownerless. The only thing that he could, uh, you know, go ahead and, um, you know he, he's not allowed to reduce. He can't reduce this chal dekita. That's the, you know because that, that's the only thing that he, you know he's allowed to reduce because that is the only thing that would would have been allowed, right? Everything else is, is ownerless, right? So you're not paying for anyone to to wash the field, etc. A poder netervai shidov person is redeeming his own netervai. Mosif alav hamishito ben shu shelo ben shnitalo matana. Right. So this is according to Bet Hillel. Like I said earlier, if a person redeems his own netervai, he needs to add the additional fifth. Right, whether it's his or whether it was given to him as a gift. And Abam points out that you have to say it was given to him as a gift before right, these fruits reach the Onat Ma'asrot, that season of Ma'asrot, because once it reaches a season of Ma'asrot, it's considered Mamun Gavoa, right? It's considered, you know, um, you know, uh, something kadosh. And we know you're not allowed to gift something like that. So it needs to be, uh, we, we have to say that it was gifted earlier. And therefore, um, you know, that's how he uh, received this gift. And Anachah, according, of course, is like this Mishnah, as it's according to Betilah.